Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Biggie. Today we're going to be looking at this Fedra Constant Yacht Timer. Now this is the FC 380NT4H4 and this model is the Voyager Chronograph. Now this is a Yacht Timer watch and this carries a price tag of $3,495 and before we learn more about this watch let's learn a little bit more about arizona fine time arizona fine time is located in scottsdale arizona and i'll leave a link to the website in the description they stock many many luxurious and great brands like maurice lacroix seiko seiko lux totima luminox laco mule glasut and exclusive brands like high-end G-Shock, Accutron, Ball, and many, many others. Come check us out and you're going to love what you see. Thanks. Okay guys, we're back now. This is a beautiful blue and rose gold Frederic Constant Yacht Timer and this watch is just simply stunning. I love the colorway and I love the orange hand and it also have orange um, markers for the yacht uh, racing st uh, start. Now the way this works is um, you have a yacht, uh, when yacht racing is get about to start, they have a 10 minute, um, like basically like a warm up uh, period. So what you do is right before you start that warm up period, you hit your um, yacht timer and then this goes in increments of five minutes. Now, when you're waiting um, for this five minutes to start, as you can see, the globes are going to start changing color um, as you get closer to the countdown. Now, as you can see, it's moving right now. And that is um, approaching a half a minute. And once you get past the uh, 10 minutes, then you'll um, see that it changes from uh, blue to white. And then when the race finally gets ready to start, it'll turn this lovely bright orange color, the same as the second hand. And, and then you can start your uh, yacht race. So I think that's pretty cool. I'll leave this running and then and I'll do an elapsed time thing so you can um, see what it looks like when it gets to the uh, uh, to the orange. But for now, I'll just keep it running. Now, let's do a quick measurement of this watch. 41, um, 41 millimeters across. Well, just about 42 millimeters across. The thickness is 14.3. Uh, and then the lug to lug on this one is going to be... Um, right around 50 on the nose so really great dimensions on this one and I really like it it's all a rose gold uh, case and I don't know how many microns um, thick this rose gold plating is but whenever you see these watches that they are rose gold that is real gold that is rose actual rose gold um, that is uh plated over top of the stainless steel and Frederick Constant assured me that this will not um, uh, wear off in the time that you own this watch so that's a good thing now you get a lovely box sapphire crystal on here sapphire with um, anti-reflective coating and you also get a sapphire back showing that lovely uh, 7750 uh, Valjou based movement with the Geneva striping and I think that's really nice. Screw down back 100 meters of water resistance with this one. Um, and that is without a screw down crown um, and just basic uh, pump style pushers. Now you do get a Frederick Constant signed crown right there. You can see that. And you get this lovely blue calf leather uh, alligator um, strap. Now you got the calf uh, leather on the inside, uh, genuine alligator on, on the outside with a white uh, stitching, twin trigger signed, 
deployant buckle and I like this system because it has a minderless system um, so what you do is you thread the strap underneath here underneath the buckle and any any of the excess strap just feeds right under and it goes under like that so there's no um, need for um, uh, minders loop minders now this watch comes in at looks like a I want to say it that's going to be a what, 21 I want to say a 20 millimeter strap so it'll be easy to find straps for this watch um, and as you can see we're going into the period uh, where it's going to start the yacht race now after this next minute elapsed the this last globe after it turns all white you'll start the race when this one starts uh, to turn red and I'll just uh, keep talking while we look at that now on this dial you can see it's a beautiful texture pattern Frederic constant right above the six o'clock uh, indice that is raised all these indices are applied you get a lovely um, chamfered ring on each one of these uh, timing circles now we're going around 15 seconds before the race starts and then you'll see it's going to turn a lovely uh, bright orange and here we go now the race would start and you start timing your race and and you'll see as you go along yeah maybe when you get to about I want to say about 15 or 20 seconds you'll see it start changing to that orange and you see that orange coming into frame now I'm moving on that so you can see and it is the same bright color as that second hand so that's pretty cool and now you know how your yacht timer works now this watch also carries loom on the on the um, applied indices and the hands let me light that up for you and this carries no date on this that's your transitional loom that is super luminova it will last all night it is just lovely and that's your nighttime shot of your yacht timer this watch is really really nice and there's a couple different colorways this comes in AZ fine time um, has all of them available for you so let me know what you guys think about this one this is the Frederick constant yacht timer my name is Big E that's the watch once over for today I'll talk to you guys later. God bless. Please subscribe and have a good one.